Good day. So today we're going to work on a 2004 Chevy Express uh, 3500. So it's a one-ton van. We're going to replace the uh, lower control arm bumpers. If you take a look under your vehicle, you might uh, get a surprise. So these vans kind of ride low on the suspension. And uh, if you can see it there, not much left of it on this side. And uh, so we'll take a, a peek at this side, compare it to the other side. And from what I remember, it's pretty much fried just on the passenger side. So you get a bit of an uneven bump when you're going down the road. So to do this job, we're going to put it up on ramps, which I've already done. Got a three ton outdoor kind of jack here. This one's made by Pro Eagle. I think they're the only company that makes it. Sorry, my camera is having a fit with the light. See if we can bring it out. And that's just it. It's that easy to move when you're outside. So that is why I obtained that. Got the two bumpers here, and then I got a couple of flathead screwdrivers. So you're gonna get the vehicle up on ramps so you can get under it. And then we're gonna unload the suspension a little bit using the jack. So I just get the camera set up on the tripod, and we will do that. Alright, so we're just going to put the extension on the jack here. It's meant to lift high uh, lifted vehicles, so it has an extension part on here. There's like a, some indexes on the side, so when you put this in here, you turn it sideways. Otherwise, you can put the uh, extension in, turn it sideways, and put that in there. Says up to the uh, top. If this one's not adequate, you can get an even longer extension for your vehicle. So it's basically a three ton Chinese jack for the most part. Like I've got another all aluminum three ton jack, the same valve body and arm and everything. This one's got a, a skid plate underneath of it so that if you are using it in sand, it still gets some support and obviously it's got the wheels so it's way easier to move around in the snow and the sand and the mud and dirt compared to a regular indoor kind of jack so that's uh, why I picked this up so uh, we're gonna try to get this under here lift up the van if we can see that or not hopefully we can the Sun is a little bit challenging today so I'm just going to go after the uh, mount for the control arm here. So we're not lifting the vehicle, we're just going to unload the suspension. So there's no harm in getting crushed under the vehicle. Just don't put your fingers in any pinch points should the jack let go. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to set the camera up on the other side of the control arm and we'll see if we can pop out one of those uh, bumpers. Alright, so that's the uh, bumper there. It looks like it's just a press fit in here, but uh, don't put your hand in here in case the jack lets go. So we're just going to pop this out. We couldn't do it with the vehicle fully weighted on the springs. It's not going to come out nice, it's all torn to bits. It's tempting to put your fingers in there, but we're not going to do it. Alright, so we've got that. Got our money's worth out of it. Let's see if we can pop over to the other side and get it out. Here we are again. Same problem, other side. We got it. 
take these out, look at the new ones, and we'll put the replacements in. All right, so you can see the difference here between the uh, ones that are going in to, compared to the ones that came out. Not much left there. I don't know what is going on here. I weigh quite a bit more than my wife, but her side squashed more. So anyway, we'll get these put in. You'll see that I bought a Dorman part here. I looked at the cost on the AC Delco replacements, and that's just not going to happen. They want way too much money for their part. And half the time, the Dorman parts are the OEM part anyway, just at a, a lower price. I've bought Mercedes parts that came in Dorman boxes in the past for my Jeep. It's got a Mercedes engine and transmission in it. So I wouldn't be afraid of Dorman. So we're going to go with these. I'll have to put a block in the suspension there to, so I can get my hand in there without risk of losing my fingers should something surprising take place. So we'll get these put in here and we'll be done. Alright, so I threw a jack stand here underneath the, the uh, cross member. Just wanted to be safe. Put a bit of load on the uh, jack stand so it doesn't pop out should uh, things go haywire on me. Do need to get a set of frame stands for this vehicle. It uh, can get fairly far off the ground and that's uh, the best solution because these things are kind of maxed out. That's why I got it on a pair of 2x8s. So we'll uh, slip under there and get this thing together. Alright, see if we can get one of these uh, bumpers in here now. So the way it's set up is that there's some tangs here, three of them, or four of them rather, that uh, lock into the foam. So I'll try to put it in behind two of the tangs and then walk it in the rest of the way using the screwdriver and my fingers. Obviously you don't want to damage it putting it in either. It's pretty stiff material. Getting there. Back to work here. I think that's it. Alright, so there you have it. That's the job. So you pop those in. Obviously there's not much space here. So that's why you have to do it with the suspension unloaded. So you can use some ramps and a, a jack to achieve that.